can start standing with your feet hip distance apart, make sure that you have equal pressure underneath your big toe, little toe, and the center of your heel. Feel like you're lifting the arches of your feet up and tightening the muscles on your inner thighs. Think of stretching the muscles from your knee to your hip bone, your hip bone to your ribs, your shoulders are open wide and your neck is nice and long. So equal distance between your ears to your shoulders. Relax your arms down beside you and just focus first on your breath. You're going to take a big deep breath in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Breathing out through your mouth. Don't forget to watch my short clip on your breathing to help you to facilitate the correct muscles while you're breathing. Place your hands now around your ribs. Place your thumb at the back of your ribs. Take a big deep breath in. Allow the ribs to expand underneath your arms. And then as you breathe out, slowly let that rib cage close in around your spine. Gently breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, pull the belly button into the spine and relax. Place your hands in front of your stomach. Slowly breathe in for me here. And then as you breathe out, really pull those tummy muscles in nice and tight. And again, breathing in. And breathing out. Really pull those stomach muscles in nice and tight. And exhale. Good. From your back, you lift your shoulders up. Start to release tension through the neck and shoulder area. And breathing out, feel as if you're dropping your shoulder blades into your back pocket. Inhale deeply through the nose as you lift your shoulders. Breathe out and allow your shoulders to drop away from your ears nice and heavy. Inhale, feel those shoulder blades glide up your back. And then slowly glide back down. One more time, breathing in. Slowly breathing out. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, let's nod the chin and start to peel that back away from that imaginary wall behind you. Come down if you need to soften your knees. If you have any back issues, please do. Pull the belly button in and then slowly come all the way back up. Breathing in. Breathing out, slowly flex and round the spine. And inhale, exhale, draw the belly button in and come all the way back up. Breathing in, breathing out, curling round the spine. Inhale, and exhale, slowly coming back up. One more, inhale, exhale, curling round the spine down. Carefully walk your hands forward. Push your hips back. Look back through your heels and relax your neck. Lift and lower your heels five times. Inhale as we lift. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, you're gonna lower. Two more. One more. Stop, walk your hands back and slowly come all the way back up. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathing in, breathing out, slowly round the spine down. Walk your hands forward, press your hips back. Feel the stretch in the back of those hamstrings. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, press it back down. Lifting up, coming back down. Do three more. Two more. And one more. Great, slowly come up. This time, grab hold of your ring and slowly come up nice and straight. Extend your arms straight out in front of you. Make sure that you can see straight through the center of your ring with your eye gaze. You're gonna inhale on the exhale. I want you to softly squeeze the ring. Feel the activation of those muscles in front of your chest. And breathing out, pull the abdominals in nice and tight. And again, three. Breathing out, four. Pull the shoulders down, five. Keep that body nice and long, six. Stretch your legs and seven. Keeping your waist stretched. Good, last one. Stop, bring the ring close to your body. Push those elbows out to the side. Avoid leaning to one side, breathe in. Breathing out, squeeze the ring one. Exhale, 
two, and three, four. Nice, feel the rear cage closing around the spine. Five as you exhale, and six, and seven. Keeping the stretch through the spine. Eight, last two, and the last one. Start onto the ring here, and you're gonna pull the ring apart. So now you wanna focus on those muscles in the front of your chest, underneath your arms, feel them tighten, breathing out as you pull that ring apart. Three, and keep going, four, and five. Good, squeeze, and six. Try and open that ring as much as you can, seven. Open it up, eight, do two more. This time, hold it there. Hold that isometric contraction for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release it. Now we're going to add a little bit of our legs to the same movement. So as you're bending your knees, I'd like you to squeeze the ring. And as you're standing up, I'd like you to pull your elbows out to the side. Try and pull that ring apart. And you go forward, we inhale. Exhale as we come back up. Keep the weight even and smooth. Stretching forward, pulling back, three. Good, four. Squeeze, activate those muscles in your front of your chest, activate the back. Feel like you're pulling your shoulder blades together. And do five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one, now we're gonna stay down. Hold that contraction, stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back up, do that again. Go down and just hold it there. Watch when you're sitting down, you're not arching that back. Keep the back of your neck nice and long. Hold that position here for another 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back up, last one. This time we're gonna add our arms, so bend them in. Press out one, two, three, four, five. Keep the weight in your heels, guys. Six, you should be able to lift those toes. Seven, keep the back nice and stable. Eight, keep the length through your neck. Hold it there, do little presses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you guys should really feel those front of those thighs work. And from here, we're going to start with some lunging. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can get a better view. We're going to start by stepping back. We're going to do alternating legs. So we're going to go right, and we're going to go left. Right, lunging back, left. Keep the shoulders over your hips. Good. Nice long neck, open chest, back is wide, stomach is in tight. Don't let the tummy drop. Good, keep going for four. And three, two, one more. Stop. We're gonna do single legs with our right leg. And we're gonna take it back, right leg only one. Two, three, four. Keeping that waist long, eight. 
eight, keeping the stretch through the waist. Hold it back, stay here. Hold that position. Remember the pelvis, the ribs are together, the shoulder blades are down. We're gonna stay there and take your arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Eight, nine, hold the arms up and small pulses down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to open up our legs into a wide, laterally rotated position. Try and get those knees over your big toes. And again, we're going to sit down into a nice, Grand plie, and as you go forward, squeeze that ring, pull the ring apart. Sit down, and slowly bring it up. Any issues with your knees, you don't have to go as low. Try and push those knees out to the side. Don't let the knees roll back in. And again, press it forward, bring it back in. Good, squeeze the ring down, pull it apart. Use the front of the chest, those pectoral muscles, and use the serratus tear in our back as we squeeze back. Nice, keep going. Do another four more. And three. Do two more. Stay down. Hold it here. Now we're gonna twist to the side, back to the center. Side, back to the center. Side, here. Center, keeping your pelvis stable. You're rotating your rib cage around your spine and the rest of your body is staying nice and stable. And stop, take your arms up, lift up, bend your knees down, take it two. Keep your shoulders away from your ears three. As you straighten your legs, imagine you've got a big ball between your inner thighs, you wanna pop it. Pull the belly in. That's it, nice, good, do five more, four, using that breath, three, two, one more, stay low, just your arms down, and one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, Last one, hold it here, lean to the side one. You should be feeling those thighs right now. Three, three, four. Keep your head right in the center of your arms. Feel like your head is reaching up to try and touch that ring above the top of your head. Stay here, take the ring down. Push it one, two. You guys can always stand up, have a rest if you need three. Otherwise, stay low, four. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, come all the way up and relax your arms back down. Now I'd like you to put the ring around your ankle spine. And we're gonna work a little bit those inner thighs. This is also requires a little bit of balance. So if you need to hold onto a wall or something close by, feel free to. Otherwise, again, Working those muscles of our core balance is very important. So you're gonna start just by lifting your arms up to shoulder height. Take your one leg and just point your toe, leave your toe touching the floor to begin with. And then from here, gently flex that foot and transfer your weight onto your standing leg. Try not to sink into the hip, so keep lifting up. Hold it here and you're gonna squeeze the top leg into the ring and you're going to release it. Squeeze it too. And three. Good, keeping the foot flexed. Four, pushing your heel towards the floor. Five, keeping your neck nice and long. Six, that's it, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze the leg down and just hold it there for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Do small pulses and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, relax. Good, and repeat that on the opposite side. Transfer the weight onto one leg, lengthen the spine, flex that foot, lift up out of that standing leg, and press down one. Two, use those abdominals, three. We often forget about our stomach, four, and the breath, five, and we start adding movement, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it down, stay there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Little presses down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax the foot all the way down for me. Good. We're going to start to go down onto the floor now. I'm in a kneeling position here with my knees directly under my hips. What I like to do is if I turn around, when I'm in this kneeling position, I like to bring my heels together. And as I squeeze my heels, I feel the connection of my sit bones. So it's kind of like I'm squeezing a little bit my bum cheeks together and getting that connection of the two ischium bones, those sit bones. Now from here, I'd like you to place the ring beside you here. And we're gonna just do some nice lateral flexion where we're leaning to the side, getting a nice stretch, and we're coming straight back up. As you exhale, gently press your hand into the ring, lean over and slowly come back up. Watch that you keep the space between your shoulder and your ear as you go over, and then you come up, lengthening your neck, stretching the waist. You exhale, and then you inhale. What you're doing is, is you're leaning over to the side, and your spine is just keeping the same natural shape as you go over and you come back up. Good, you can place your hand behind the back of your head. And as you exhale, you're going to go over. Hold that position and then stretch. Push that knee, the same hand as you're, you're reaching across here, that knee is pressing into the floor and then you come back. You breathe out as you reach across, draw the belly button in. The front of the ribs are staying nice and close together. Exhale, get that lovely stretch, and then coming back up. Breathing out, three. Good, and we're gonna do two more. Good, and do one more. Hold it there, stay here. Push that same knee as your arm that's reaching across the top of your head into the floor and then slowly come all the way back up. We're gonna do that on the other side. Placing your hand on top of the ring. Stay here, we're just gonna stretch over. This is a nice stretch for that one side of the waist. We're shortening the other side of the waist as you go over, and inhale as you come back up. Breathing out, watch that you don't drop your ear to the shoulder. See, I've kind of gotten the different space between one side and the other. So when I talk about equal distance between shoulders to ears, you're keeping that same amount of space and we're really emphasizing, I should say, on lengthening and stretching that waist. Breathing out as you go over, inhale as we come back up. Keep that breath nice and even and flowing. The breath follows the same movement patterns we're going through. And place your hand behind the head and let's take it over and reach it across. Pull it back in and then come all the way up. I inhale as I go down and I exhale as I stretch my arm across. And then I come back up. You go over and stretch and hold, coming back up. As I'm reaching that arm across, I'm pushing that knee into the floor keeping my weight even on both knees. I'm not transferring the weight more onto one knee than the other. You can always place a cushion or a uh, pillow underneath your knees, because a lot of people I know don't like kneeling on the floor on their knees. So if you need to, you can uh, definitely get some more comfort or support for those knees. Last one, I want you to hold it here. Stay in this position, really draw that ribcage up and get that lovely length through that one side here for me and just hold it. Make sure you're holding your belly in. Don't let it pop out. That's it, great. And then come all the way up. So some really nice lateral flexion for the body. We try and incorporate all movement of the spine in all lessons, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come down and we're going to sit on the floor 
and we're going to place that ring between the knees. I'm going to show you facing sideways first because I think I, I definitely look better facing sideways doing this exercise in front right now. So I want you to think about the length of your spine and really drawing up all the way from the floor. I want you to feel like you're opening every vertebrae of your spine. From here, we're gonna inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna softly squeeze the ring as you curl and round that lower lumbar spine, but I'm not rounding those shoulders forward, okay? And then you're gonna come back up and try and sit up nice and tall. Good, for people that are really short in their hamstrings, or they feel that they cannot sit up straight, then what I suggest is sitting on top of a couple of blocks or something so that your pelvis is a little bit raised off the floor on these exercises. You're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, curl and round. Watch where you're looking, okay? If I look down, look what happens to my chin. If I look up, I shorten the back of my neck. So it's really important that you keep your focus of your eye gaze straight ahead in front of you. We're going to do four more and then we're going to sit back up nice and tall. I'll face you guys now and we're going to do three more. Lovely, using your breath, opening the chest as you come up, keeping that chest open and really think of like a letter J shape with that lower lumbar spine curling under, rolling back onto the back of your sit bones and make sure that ring is placed nice and firmly in between the knees. And just do that one last time. Stay here. Now, in this position, you can, if you need to, put a pillow or that little supportive ball. Now, I'm not sinking into the ball. I've just got it there for a little bit of support. If you don't have a ball, guys, you can do it without. And you're gonna squeeze your ring, one. Breathing out, two. Exhale, three. Good, four. Every time you exhale, pull the tummy in tight. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Now you're just gonna hold it there. Stay here. Now this is where you should be like, oh, it starts shaking and it gets a little bit harder. That's fine. That's those really deep intrinsic muscles firing in and working. That's what I wanna see. And then what I want you to do is let's just use the one leg and you squeeze it. One, two, again the breath. Three, incorporate your movement. Four, five, lovely. Six, seven, Eight, nine, now stop, do the other side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna hold it one more time together, hold it there, and really squeeze it. Now I'm gonna make something a little harder. I'm gonna get you guys to move back just a little bit, and then come back up. Move back a little bit and come back up, keep going, and you go back, and up, or without the ball, go back, and up, good, here, pull the stomach in, two, great, and three, on hindsight, maybe I should have had the lunch before I did this video, and we squeeze, nice, squeeze it, good, hold it up, stay here, now let's lift your one up, and do the other one, Two. And again, if you need that ball or a pillow, put it behind the back, in. When you exhale, draw the navel in nice and tight. Squeeze it up. Up. Good. Very nice. Slowly up. Up. And stop. Come and sit up tall. Just relax those inner thighs and get that really nice stretch through the back. Give yourselves a little rest. Good. Remember, you can just stop when you feel that you need that rest or if you're feeling any discomfort in your lower back, have a little rest. Again, I will do that with all, and I'll face you guys, okay? So we're gonna roll down halfway again in that same lovely C shape with my chest open and wide. We're gonna lift both arms up one. As you're breathing out, I'm also gonna squeeze and release the ring in combination with my arms. Four, you don't have to do that. You can hold the ring for the whole time. Five, if you would like. Six. Breathing out, seven, great, eight, good, nine. Now stop, hold it there, and let's open the arms up. Hug the tree, one. Think of grabbing hold of a big ball, two, 
As you bring those arms together, three, four. Feel those muscles in the front of your chest tighten, five. Good, six, seven. Very nice, eight, nine. One more, do my inner thighs are really starting to hurt. Hold it and then come all the way back up. Okay, great. To give our inner thighs a little rest, we're gonna come and we're now going to lie face down for a moment on the floor here. And we're gonna just do a little bit of extension work here. Now again, you can keep that ring straight in front of you here. And from here, press the shoulders back. I really tell everyone when they're doing this, I show you my lower back. If I push my pubic bone and my hips into the floor, I really stretch that lower lumbar spine. So avoid lifting your bum in the air, but keep that nice stretch, okay? Feel that you're, someone is wanting to pull your feet away from you. So from here, we're going to be pressing the hands into the ring, coming up into extension. Inhale. Push the shoulders down. Keep the back of your neck straight. Same thing, guys. Don't look up. Don't look down. The neck stays straight. And then we come back down. Breathing out. Three. And four. Exhale. Five. And again, come up as high as you're comfortable with your back. If you're super flexible in that back, which I'm really not, and I just come up about here. There are people that are more flexible. Don't come too high. You want to keep it to where you're really not crunching those lower lumbar spine. Now let's stay up and just hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release it. I'd like you to do that again another two times. Shoulders down, long neck. Take it up. Hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm going to do something a little different. We're going to come up and we're going to lift my feet and I'm going to kick those legs. And we're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back down. Let's do that again. Lift up. Hold it, lift the legs, kick like we're in the ocean. Here we go, kick those legs and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly relax and come back down. Good, place your hands underneath your shoulders, carefully push back and go into a nice shell stretch or child's pose. Good, take the time just to feel that nice stretch through the lumbar spine here, okay? If you curl a little bit that pelvis under, you get a much nicer stretch. Or you can open your knees a little wider. Also, that feels really good. And just take the time to relax for a second. Good. Now, we're gonna come and we're gonna lie on our sides. We're gonna do a little bit more inner and outer thigh work. So, I'm gonna place my bottom leg on the top of the ring. So you've got to position the leg first, it's underneath, so that the ring stays stable. Lie on your side and place your feet here. I have my feet in a dorsiflex position so that I'm pushing my heels away from me. And the alignment is my ear, shoulder, rib cage, hip, knee, and ankle are all in a straight line. Okay? When you're doing this, feel like you're trying to pull your waist off the floor and position your neck in a position where you feel comfortable. Again, you can use a cushion or a towel here. And I want you to just start by pushing the top leg into the ring and then releasing it. Good, as you're breathing out, push the heel down and gently release it. Good, you breathe out, three. Exhale, four. And breathing out, five. Good, and breathing out, six. And exhale, seven, nice, eight, good, lovely, we've got two more, and then you're going to just hold it. We're gonna stay here in this position. So this is an isometric contraction of those inner thigh muscles, predominantly on my top leg, although my bottom leg is still working. And then we're gonna do little presses now. So this is a more dynamic movement where we're pulsing. 
Good. And we squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your bottom. That's it. Great. And then just stop. Now I'm going to rotate my top leg into a externally rotated position where the toe is facing the ceiling, but the rotation is happening right up here from inside my pelvis. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating that femur bone, that little big, big bone in our top of our leg, outwards up to the ceiling, okay? From here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna exhale, press down. Inhale, coming back up. Breathing out, two, and three. Good, four, good. We're targeting small little muscle groups here, five. We're keeping our stability through our spine, staying nice and stable. So if someone was to try and push me over on the floor, they wouldn't be able to because I'm really bracing that whole core, core area of my body. That's it, good. Now you're gonna hold it there for that contraction and just stay there. Focus on lengthening. So when you're holding a position, think of stretching your neck, your waist, Hold it there and then do those pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. We're going to release it. We're going to take the top leg now and place it underneath the bar. Again, my feet are still in a flex position here. And I want you to now lift both legs off the floor and then come back down. Good. Lift it up. Come back down. Breathing out. Three. And four. Nice. Keep the shoulders down. Five. Targeting that waist. Six. Great, guys. Breathing out. Seven. Remember, keep the shoulders down. Good. Keep the ribs close together. Keep the movement nice and smooth. Good. One more. And hold the legs here. Hold this position for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, try and lift a little higher if you can. Good, make sure you're staying stable and relax and come back down. Perfect, we're gonna turn around and do that on the other side, now here. So remember, we're placing the ring on the floor first, placing the bottom leg on the inside of the ring, placing the top leg in a parallel position. So right now my toes are facing forward, my heels are facing backwards here. I'm keeping the connection of my ribs. My shoulders are away from my ears. And the alignment is ankle, knee, hips, ribs, shoulder to ear. And you exhale when you press down. Inhale, coming back up. Good, breathing out predominantly, or usually we do roughly 10 repetitions. So in case I lose count while I'm talking too much, you guys can do your 10 as well. So sometimes we tend to talk a lot and we lose our counts. I think that's five. Breathing out, six. And again, seven. Very nice, eight. Keep pushing the heel away from nine. And 10, hold the leg down, stay in that position for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop, come back up, rotate the toe to the ceiling. Rotation happens right up in the hips and go straight into it. One, breathing out, two, exhale, three, four, belly in tight, five, long neck, six, good, and again, seven. Exhale, eight, and nine, ten. We're gonna hold it there. Just stay here, keeping the ribs down, drawing the belly in, and little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release it. Take that foot and place it on the underneath side of the ring. And we're gonna lift both legs up. Coming back down. Now for me, this side, I can lift much higher on this side too, which is pretty common for most people. Three, you tend to have one side of the body. That's a little bit easier. Four, exhale, five, and six. Lovely, breathing out, seven. Keeping the stretch, eight. Two more. Last one, hold it there. Stretch the neck, draw the belly in. Keep the length through the whole body and we stay in this position while we balance and then we release. 
set. Perfect. I want you to keep the ring on the outside of your legs, okay? We're gonna place it here on the outside of your knees and we're gonna grab hold of the back of your thighs and we're gonna roll down slowly onto the floor into that bridge position, okay? The ring is just slightly above my knees. Now, some people like to put a cushion behind the head. I like to have a cushion close by, sometimes, or a towel, because in a minute when we do roll-ups, a lot of people need that extra support for the back. So, hands by your side, here for me. We're gonna start just by opening out and pushing the knees into the ring, and then gently releasing it. Breathing out. Breathing in. Exhale. Breathe. Breathing out. Four. Exhale. Five. Six. And again, seven. Lovely. And squeeze. Eight. Two more. Last one. Hold it there. Now I'm going to keep a neutral position with my spine. I'm going to put my hands to the side. And I'm going to just lift my pelvis up and come straight back down with a neutral spine. Lifting up, inhale, come back down. Breathing out, three, coming back down. When I come up here, you'll see I'm keeping that lovely length. I'm not extending and lifting those ribs up, okay? I want to keep that space to allow a nice open neck. And you lift and come down. I'm keeping the pressure of my knees, pushing into either side of the ring as I do this. And coming back down. Good. Let's do three more. As I'm coming up, I'm also squeezing those glutes. That's it. We want to strengthen those muscles. For all those people that sit all day, these tend to get super weak, okay? Hold it. Now stay here. Open the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, hold it, go halfway down and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax it all the way back down. Nice. Just hug your knees into your chest for me for a moment. Good. Now we're going to place that ring on the inside of our legs again, and we're going to straighten the legs up, okay? So again, a nice option here is to put your hands underneath your bottom if you need it. Stay here, now I'm in a flat back position, I'm not neutral right now. If you need to bend your knees, you can, if you can't straighten your legs. And I'm going to point my toes, okay? So from here we're just going to squeeze the ring and release it. Good. Again, try and look straight to the ceiling. Three, and four. Exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, I'm going to now roll over, or first I'm just gonna do a little kick. Okay, so this is one option for this exercise. Okay, well actually option one could be just a stretch back, okay? Option two could be that little kind of mini rollover here. And then option three would be a full rollover. Flex those feet and then slowly come down. When you're coming down, try and keep the back of your head and your shoulders on the floor. Let's point the toes when we get to the top and roll back. Flex your feet. And as you come down, slowly roll back down. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Roll over. Good. Flex. And slowly come down. Good. Last two. Inhale. And exhale. Remember, you have variation and options for this exercise. Not everyone has the mobility in their back or their hamstring to do a roll over. If you can do it, that's great. Slowly come down. And release it. Nice. Now, I'm going to get you to place one foot on the inside of your room and extend that bottom leg all the way up. 
and then you move back just a touch. Okay, from here, shoulders down. Nice heaviness in the front of your chest. We're gonna start with a little half roll up and then come back down. And when I come back, I'm gonna pull that leg towards me so I get a deeper hamstring stretch. Breathe out. I like to look at my big toe. It's a nice visual point gaze to look at. It tends to keep that alignment of our neck in a good place and slowly pull the leg back. We're gonna do three more. And we're gonna come back. Two more. And one more. Now we're gonna come to a full roll up. So we're gonna start, we're gonna roll up. Now again, you have that option. If you can't roll all the way up, you can put a cushion or a towel or something to assist you, okay? Often most of my clients find that by placing something right under that where we have that small arch and that lower lumbar spine, it really helps, okay? And pull back and slowly coming up, okay? I'm gonna carry you out. And we're gonna roll down sequentially, come back. Feel like you're peeling every spinal bone off the floor one at a time. Inhale, stay here. And then exhale, slowly place it back down. And gently pull the leg back. Good, just do one more like this. Slowly coming up. Inhale up and exhale, slowly come back down. Now, I have something that I'm gonna add on. So this is an option. You can continue rolling up or rolling down. But if you're okay with this, you're gonna lift that bottom leg up into that teaser, lower the leg, and roll the spine down. Breathing out, teaser, try and hold it, and then come back down. Good, roll up, try and hold it, lower the leg, and then come back down. Breathing out as you come up, roll it back down. Let's do two more. You can always do more if you want, it's up to you. And again, one more, but we're gonna stop and try and hold it. So let's stay here, keeping the chest open, looking straight at your feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your leg and then roll the back down. Nice. We're gonna do all of that on the other side now. So changing lifts, stretching that leg up, nice and long. Keeping the front of your leg that's on the floor, that hip flex are nice and stretched. From here, I just want you to pull that leg towards you. Feel that lovely stretch on your hamstrings. And let's just come up. We're gonna roll up just halfway. And then slowly come back down. Pull that leg back, deepen the stretch. Breathing out. Avoid letting those shoulders lift around, that's it, and then come back down. Breathe out. Breathe in. Good, if you need that extra support with a cushion behind your back, now's the time to use it, okay? Here we go, we're gonna roll all the way up. Inhale. And think of your spine here, like little pebbles dropping in the sand, one at a time, getting a lovely, nice, long line of pebbles. And again, roll it up, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, slowly lengthen and stretch. Breathe out, you curl that pelvis, and you place it down. And then each time you get that leg back, you can deepen your stretch. Roll it up, and then breathe out. Again, using your breath for the movement. I'm inhaling as I'm lifting, and then I'm exhaling, coming down. Now the next option is to lift that bottom leg up into your teaser, lower it, and then come back down. Control the movement, try and hold it before you come back down. So here is that balance, okay? Core very responsible for that balance. 
and it's important here for our nervous system. Up and coming back down. Coming up. Slowly bring it back down. Two more. And take it down. Let's hold it there. And you can do more of those if you're up to it. Okay, staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to come all the way up. Perfect. On our backs here. And we're going to place that ring at the very base of your head, at the top of your neck, in that occipital, occipital area of, of the head here. And I feel that I have support, okay? I'm not pulling on the ring and my chin to the chest, okay? I want to keep enough space to fit a fist underneath my chin and my chest. From here, we're going to inhale, keeping our spine in a neutral position with that natural arch under your lower back, a nice flat pelvis, nice closure at the front of the ribs. As you breathe out, we're going to exhale and look through the middle of your thighs. Inhale, we come back down. And you breathe out. And we come back down. Inhale. Three. If you find this aggravates your neck or, or you're uncomfortable doing this exercise, you can take the ring away and just put your hands behind the back of your head. Six. Here. Seven. What I'm doing is I'm keeping my shoulder blades down the back and I'm really focusing on drawing the front of my rib cage together. Okay, so I'm using my obliques and those rectus abdominals here to do the work and I'm lifting my back. I'm not thinking of lifting my head. My head is simply lifting because I'm lifting my back but I'm not using my head first. We're going to stay up here holding it and then slowly come back down. Bring your knees together and slightly drop your knees off to one side. And as you exhale, lift up. I'm keeping both bum cheeks on the floor. So I'm lifting two and I'm working more those side obliques, those side waist muscles. Exhale, three. Exhale, four. Keep that chin away from your chest and 
let's go forward into a stretch and then come all the way back up again, nice and tall. So here's where you might need to bend your knees if you cannot sit with your legs straight. A lot of people find that straight leg sitting aggravates that lower lumbar spine, especially if you're very tight in the back of your hamstrings. We're gonna do that two more times. We're gonna breathe in. When I do this, I stretch and I sit a little taller, okay? And as I breathe out, I start to curl under from my pelvis, not my shoulders. And I hold it there. We're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, we're gonna curl and roll it a little bit lower and hold it. Inhale, now you can hold it here. You don't have to go lower, okay? But if you really wanna challenge yourself, you go down that little bit lower and you hold it there. And if you want to make it harder, you can lift and lower your arms as well, okay? Two, to make it more challenging. Three, four, five, great, six, seven, eight, two more. Last one, hold it, roll all the way down, try not to collapse. Release it. If you do take your arms behind you, be aware that you're not lifting your ribs, okay? It's fine to take the arms back. I just don't want the spine moving. I want you to keep that spine stable here. Inhale, now as you exhale. Okay, we're gonna roll up. So I haven't got that cushion. Oh, it's a little bit hard. And we go forward, and we come back up. We said we're gonna do that one more time. So here we go, breathe in. Breathe out, you take it down. Keep looking through the middle of that room. Breathe out, curl in a little bit lower. Good, and here we go. That last position, try and go a little lower. There you go, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way down. And our pistol is this dance, the last 10. We're gonna lift up and kick the foot one. And again. And up, three. Exhale, four. Watch as those arms go back. Five. Exhale, six. Seven. Eight. Two more. One more. Stop, come all the way up. And go forward to stretch. Stay here. Good. Well done. We're going to do a nice stretch to finish off the end of the class. Okay? From here, girls, you're going to, or guys, not nice and tall, you're going to place your foot here for me. And I want you to try and lift the leg. And as you're doing this, pull back your toes towards you. I feel like you're pushing the heel forward. Good. Again, if you need the assistance of sitting on a higher cushion or to bend that one leg, it's totally fine. But really feel that you're stretching that leg. Take it down. Do that on the other side. So lift up. Push the heel forward. Push the toes back. Hold it there. Good. And just breathe. Nice. Lovely. Place the leg down. Leave the ring beside you. Bring your one foot on the inside of your thigh here, and then just go forward to do a nice stretch. Stay here and hold the stretch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back up. Place that leg across. Grab the knee close to your chest and turn the body all the way around. My ball's rolling away. Nice. Lift up the chest. Try and bring that knee closer into your chest. Great. Try to do that on the other side. Bring that leg on the inside of your thigh. Relax forward. and drop your chest as close as you can to that thigh. Come all the way up for me. Good. Place that leg across. Grab the knee to the chest and slowly turn and look back over the shoulder.
Yeah, bring the soles of your feet together and just roll forward as much as you can. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.